On March 22, 1940, Jinnah and other Muslim leaguers arrived to attend the 27th session of the All India Muslim League at Minto Park, later known as Iqbal Park, in Lahore at 2.45 p.m. Sensing the public sentiment for the Kaksars, sympathy banners had already been displayed at the site stating, We demand that the Punjab government appoint an independent inquiry committee. We will not remain silent until justice is delivered to the Kaksars. Tens of thousands of people, including men and women Kaksars, flocked to the venue, driven by sympathy for the Kaksar murder and fueled by anti-government sentiments against the suppression of the Kaksar movement. They presented various demands, including compensation for the murdered and injured Kaksars, the release of Mashriki, his sons, and the Kaksars, an independent inquiry into the tragedy, and the lifting of the ban on the Kaksar movement. The crowd boiled with fury as, on March 19th, the police callously disregarded the sanctity of Mashriki's home, where his Purda-observing women resided. Tear gas grenades were indiscriminately launched, causing serious injuries to Mashriki's son, Esanullah Khan Aslam. Mashriki's sons and the Kaksars present at the scene were ruthlessly apprehended. Meanwhile, Mashriki's house and the Kaksar headquarters were ravaged, vandalized, and the invaluable materials of the Kaksar movement were brutally seized. Now let's hear from Dr. Ahmed as he reflects on the turnout at this session. Dr. Ahmed described the scene, emphasizing the magnitude of the venue and the massive turnout. It was a massive venue, packed both inside and outside. According to the books we have read, they claim that there were around 100,000 people in attendance. There were definitely no fewer than 100,000 people present. Although I did not count, I can confirm that it was a gigantic venue, fully packed. A large number of people were even standing outside the venue, making it a huge gathering. It is said that there has never been a bigger rally than this in Lahore. However, Dr. Ahmed did not mention the crowd's sympathy for the Kaksar movement issues. Following a devastating tragedy, Lahore was engulfed in gloom and sorrow. Many Kaksars were brutally killed. Their leader, Mashriki, was unjustly imprisoned far from home, and Mashriki's son and other injured Kaksars were on their deathbeds. Kaksar homes were raided, and numerous Kaksars were unjustly arrested. In such a devastating context, expecting 100,000 emotionally distraught people to gather at Iqbal Park and engage with the Muslim League's speeches or resolutions would be naive. During times of despair and grief, people prioritize coping with their emotions and seeking comfort rather than being interested in politics. It is also important to note that at that time, the All India Muslim League had no support in Punjab, and people were unaware of the upcoming Lahore Resolution, which would later be known as the Pakistan Resolution. Jinnah or the Muslim League had never attracted such a large crowd anywhere in India. The Punjab premier, Sir Sikander, who wanted to postpone the session, chose not to mobilize the crowd to avoid embarrassment, as he was responsible for the Kaksar murder. During the interview, author Sana Ula Akhtar asked former Pakistani ambassador and deputy chief of general staff of the Pakistan army, Mohammad Ibrahim Qureshi, about the March 19th tragedy. In response, Qureshi stated that the public was deeply saddened by the incident, and their reaction was very strong. When the first session of the Muslim League started around 3 p.m., despite the tremendous expectations, Jinnah, in his speech, continued talking about the Muslim League's achievements and refrained from bringing up the Kaksar subject. Demonstrations occurred, and shouts of Sikandar Moor Dabad, down with Sikandar, were raised. A Muslim woman angrily climbed the stage and expressed her frustration that the Kaksar issue had not yet been addressed. She demanded that the Kaksar issue be taken up first. The crowd applauded her sentiments and agreed with her. Jinnah stopped the speech and immediately comforted her, saying the session would not conclude without resolving the Kaksar issue. The crowd thunderously chanted slogans in favor of Mashriki and the Kaksars, such as Alama Mashriki Zindabad, long live Alama Mashriki, Kaksar Zindabad, long live Kaksars, 
Asanullah Khan Aslam Zindabad, long live Asanullah Khan Aslam. To understand the truth about the partition of India, the politics of Jinnah, Gandhi, and the British rulers, watch the documentary titled The Road to Freedom, Alama Mashriki's historic journey from Amritsar to Lahore. Additionally, read or listen to the audio version of the article named The British Chessboard, Jinnah, Gandhi, and the Strategic Divide of India, both of which are by scholar Nassim Yusuf and available on social media.